Good afternoon, everyone. Michelle Humes, your pucker up gal. Let me get all comfy. <laughs> I have today, I want to try a few different looks with y'all. Um, lip looks. Not a lot of people know about, well, they know about the ombre look but they really don't know exactly what it entails. I know I've shared before. I've shared um, a few times actually how to do an ombre look. But today I actually learned something new from watching one of my business partners. So I'm going to share her tip. I have been, I have been running around. Hi lady, say hello. I've been running around chasing a gosh darn hornet all afternoon and I gave up. I waited for my husband to get home. I said you need to look for this hornet because I'm done. I squirted it. It fell. It flew and I don't know where it's at. Um, so hi. Hi Deb. Hi Amanda. So I want to share with you all um, a couple of looks, a couple of uh, different looks today and the tips that I learned um, so thank you for hopping on <clears throat> and thank you replay watchers I know there's a lot of replay watchers so welcome welcome ladies and gentlemen if there's any gentlemen watching if they have to happen to want to know how to do lips that's fine too <laughs> I'm not gonna judge oh no 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 I'm not so the first thing I learned today actually is if you want to get the exact color that is in a tube. So let me just show you an example. This one is very bright. It's a hot pink and we all have different um, lip tones. Lip, you know, actual um, the color of your lip. Everybody's lip tone is different. So if I were to simply put this pink on and let's say one of my really, really red-headed friends decides to wear it, she's going to have a different result than me. Her lips, the shade, will actually show up differently on her lips. Hi, Bridget. Welcome. So actually, I'm going to share the tip first. And to get the exact color, no matter what your nationality is, it's simple. It's really simple, and I never knew this. I'm gonna, I'll tell you that right now. I didn't. Know, I didn't know this. It's to actually put concealer on your lips to shade out your natural tone of your lip and make it a neutral shade. So I'm gonna do that. I've got a very small dab of concealer on my finger. Hi, Danielle. Welcome, beautiful. And I'm gonna I'm gonna lightly neutralize my lips is what I'm doing. Lightly. <laughs> now when I go to do this ombre, the first ombre, I'm gonna do a very subtle ombre. Um, so it won't be too dramatic, it's not going to be profound, it's not going to be dark, it's going to be more for the ladies that like to have a very subtle lip look and not something too, um, you know, pow, you know, you don't want it to look too, too much. So I'm going to actually use two light shades. I'm going to use my very light pink shade. My screen's backwards, so I'm, it's left is right, right is left. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. I'm going to call you Nikki. Um, so it's a very light shade. And then I'm actually going to use Wedding Cake, which is our shimmery shade. It's the only shimmer shade we have. And they actually smell like their names. The Creme Brulee and the Wedding Cake. They smell like straight up dessert. They sure do. And they dry to a matte finish. So I'm going to start off with the creme brulee. 
and I'm actually going to use a disposable applicator. I'm going to just take it off what I think I need from the wand. You really don't need a lot with these because they do dry um, and it's best to apply a thin layer first to get the most out of the product. These will stay on for hours if you do it this way. If you apply too thick, um, it will tend to come off when you're eating and drinking. But if you do a very small amount at first and just lightly put it on, let that dry and then do a second coat. They will stay on longer. Hi, Rhonda. Okay, so I'm going to do, let me get my mirror real quick. I'm going to do a lighter version first. I should have turned off my notifications, so if you hear a beep, it's my messenger, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can see them popping up on top of the screen. So, light, I'm going to do a light first, and that is in the center of your mouth. Ooh, it's so pretty. This is beautiful all by itself. <laughs> it really is. Mm. I will say this. I actually used... Um, a chapstick beforehand on my lips to moisten my lips a little bit so they weren't dry. Hi Laura! Now I'm going to do the darker one. It's not that much darker. It's just slightly darker and it does have some shimmer. So this will be interesting actually to put on um, and blend in because it's got that shimmer to it. It's not um, just flat like this one right here. So I'm going to just dab off. i got another disposable wand here. And excuse me sniffling. I've, I've got bad allergies, so my nose is constantly running, y'all. Which is not attractive. <laughs> no, I know it's not. Ugh, should have brought a tissue in. Okay. So, now I'm going to do this, the darker shade on the inside corners. Mm. Oh. Oh. I'm going to need a little more, I think, of this one, actually. I'm using my mirror because my screen, you see my sign behind me where it says, isn't, yeah, creme brulee is awesome, is, is ama it's amazing. It's just, it's, it smells good, it feels good. That sign, you can, you can read it straight on because I flipped my screen before I hit live. I actually flipped my screen around um, so you can see the words straight like they're supposed to be. So now when I'm looking at myself, everything's backwards, so I'm like, I can't, I gotta look at, I've gotta look in a mirror! <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna do a more bolder one after this. See, I'm trying to get over here. <laughs> okay. So it's very, this is a very subtle ombre. Can you see the different shades? I 
I've got wedding cake in the corn, the ends, and then the creme brulee in the center. It's very subtle. <laughs> Alright, let me take this one off. I apologize, y'all. Hang on a second. My nose is running. Oh my goodness. Allergies suck. I'm so sorry. Okay. Hi, Colette. I just did a, um, a very, very subtle ombre with two, um, two of my favorite shades, actually. Now I'm going to go bold, y'all. It's time for your Pucker Up gal to go bold. Big and bold. I ain't got no eyeshadow on. I know. I'm awful. Mm. As you can see, my foundation came off. That's how I fixed that. Boom. Done. It don't take long. Thank you. If you're enjoying these looks, drop some lip emojis. I'm going to start again with the um, concealer so that my lip is still a neutral shade. I want to get the effect of the real color of the product. My lips are still kind of creamy. Thank you, Amy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, let's do a bold one, shall we? I just did a very light one. And I want to go bold. I want to go like, boom, bold. I want to be bold. I want to I do a look that says, I'm going out. Uh, on the town, it's nighttime, it's going to be dark, and I want my lips to pop and show up wherever I am. The lights are flashing, maybe you're at the bar, maybe you're, you're dancing, maybe you're at a wedding reception, and those lights are sprinkling all over you and shining, and your lips are just like, boop, right? Yes, this is going to be the night out. Going out on the town. Going out on the town, so let me check what I have. I think I'm going to use, this will be interesting, I'm going to actually line my lips in red and then I'm going to use my sugar plum. So we got a dark, really dark, mysterious dark shade. Oh, Ooh. So we got my red liner. I know I know this sounds funky, y'all. Bear with me. Okay. <laughs> we gotta have some fun. <laughs> Bear with me. Red liner. There's no makeup police. Sugar plum, which is nice and dark. Mmm. They marry nicely. They really do. And then for the lighter shade, I think I'm going to use cupcake. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. I'm going to ombre a very, very pink with a very, very dark. Are you ready? Yes, Miss Judy. Sparkle and shine, ladies. Sparkle and shine. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Just play. Have fun. That's what I do. Alright, I'm going to line the lips. Look at that. You can see my garbage. Oh, look at, ooh. <laughs> Pretty neat. I got this for um, as an award at convention last year. It's heavy. It's really heavy. Alright, I'm going to line my lips first. And yeah, I'm using red. Oh, wow, I'm looking close up in this mirror. I'm seeing some hairs that need to get plucked. 
Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see the hair. Mmm. Show me some hearts, y'all. Let me know you're still here. Still here watching. Uh-huh. Mmm. This is gonna be interesting. Very, very interesting. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do the dark first this time. I'm going to do the dark first this time. Oh, I can't wait. You need to make sure you send me an invite. Make sure you send me an invite. I'm going to do the dark first because I'm doing a very dark with a very light. I actually want to do the dark first. So this one is sugar plum. It smells like sugar plums. It literally smells like sugar plums. You just wanna, <laughs> you just wanna, <laughs> you just wanna drink it. Oh, this tastes so good. No, don't drink it. <laughs> but still, you you kind of tempt it. It just smells like straight up desserts, y'all. It's, it's insane. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> my turn. Aw, hi Tina. Y'all need to check out Tina's page. She's a sweetheart. This is Limelight by Alcone. This is what I, I sell this. I offer this, I should say. I help ladies pick out some colors and skincare and stuff like that. Welcome. How do you spell, how do you pronounce your name? Is it Delisha? Oh, thank you, Colette. Hi, Shanna. Okay, ready? Are you all, la are you ladies ready for this? This is, this is the going out one, okay? And the reason why I'm actually doing this very dark, like, boom, is to play and to show you you can do anything your mind creates on its own. There is no wrong or right, can't use that with that, this color with that color. You just simply play with them. And my 20-year wedding anniversary is coming up, so I definitely need to practice all kinds of different looks. So when we go out, I look my best for my husband. Did I pronounce it right? Delisha? That's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Dark first. I've got red liner on. Dark first. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm simply not afraid. Thank you, Shanna. That's so sweet. Thank you for sharing. Please share if you want your friends to see how they can just play and have fun. And just, it's just, I have fun doing this. And I don't. I, it harder, it's hard to talk when I'm doing this. Hang on a minute. Looks funny, huh? <laughs> and a lot of women are actually afraid to use lip products. Um, they're afraid to put darks on and light and bright colors. Um, thank you, Colette. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know I look funny right now. <laughs> Well, there's the dark color. Step one done. Mm-hmm. Step one done. Now, for the true test. Going pink, y'all. 
I'm going right over into the center of this ombre lip and doing the hot pink. Leah, your friend Leah? That's my daughter's name and it's spelled the same way. Leah, L-E-A-H. The nat my natural lip color. Okay, Tina, really quick. Before I continue the tutorial, I actually put on um, concealer number two over my natural lip shade so that whatever color I put on, it will show the true color. Because um, everybody's skin tones are different, including our lips. So by neutralizing your lip skin tone with a concealer, you will get the true color of the product on your lips. That's what I did. So I actually have that tan in this. Look at this. I'm like the tan in the center is actually concealer. All right, here we go. I'm trying to open my heavy compact here. Pink cupcake in the center. Ooh. Ooh, it's so cute. I'm not done. Um, of course I'm not done. People be looking at me funky like, what is, I think she forgot to blend her lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I actually learned that today, Colette, from one of my business partners, because they did a, um, an ombre lip today, and I was like, that is really cool. I need to share that tip when I do mine. So now I have another clean swab, lip swab, and before this dries, I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit. So let me do that. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, I can't do this looking backwards in the mirror. Darn, darn it. All right, here we go. I'm blending the light into the dark because I'm using the very dark right now. So I'm, lighting, I'm blending the light out into the dark um, instead of the dark into the light. If that makes sense. Same thing. Bottom. Don't mind my teeth. I got bad teeth. I need to get my teeth pulled. Looks like I went out the lines there. <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. Look. And I used a very dark and a very light. You can mix anything you want, ladies. I'm giving you permission right now, live, right now, okay? You can create your own beautiful lip shade by mixing and matching, mixing and blending and doing whatever you want. Let me show you something. Ready? Ready? Let me show you something. <laughs> Yeah, I am a lipstick. 
Lip Addict. These are all Enduring Lip Color shades, right? <laughs> These are the matte ones. These are the ones that dry and stay on. If you do a very light coat, they will stay on for a long time. That's just one thing, okay? Those are just the, like, they're like liquid lip stains. And if you do a light coat first and then blend it and let it dry, this is what you get. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, my favorite lip gloss is our clear glitter gloss. It looks orange, but it's not. And I'm going to actually put some over this because if I'm going out to eat, I want my lips to sparkle. And it's a very subtle, but it's beautiful. And as you can see, it's almost half empty because I use it a lot. <laughs> but I will say that if you do put lip gloss on this after it dries, it doesn't last for eight hours. It will eventually come off. So if you're looking for something that's just, you know, two, three hours while you're out to dinner or whatever, I like to lightly tap. Just light... See how I just lightly put some on my lip and you just mush your lips together, y'all. Ooh, those colors actually look really good together. Cupcake and sugar plum. Where are you, sugar plum? You're hiding on me. Where'd you go? Tumbles. There we go. Sugar plum. And this bright pink cupcake. These two did this. So, my challenge to my friends in my network, no matter what products you have, you don't have to have what I have. Whatever you have, whatever you own, whatever you're currently using, I want to see you do this. I want to see you step out of your little shell and try this. Just try it. Go after it. Do it. Have fun. We only live once. You've got to doll yourself up and have fun. And you know what? When you're done, you're going to be you're going to feel amazing just doing it. Just playing around. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with trying new things and just having fun. Just having fun. Thank you, Eileen. I do apologize for missing y'all's comments, but I do appre appreciate all the hearts, all the lip emojis, all the love that you all share. You like makeup tutorials? Well... I will do some. I can do smoky eye. I can do, um, I do have some. Actually, if you look through my videos, I do have some tips for like the winged eye, for um, hooded eyes and stuff like that. I cannot wait. I cannot wait until we launch into England because let me tell you, when that convention, <laughs> when you have your first convention, guess who's going to be there? Guess who's going to be there? <coughs> I'm starting to look like Audrey Hepburn. I have never heard that before. You are so sweet. Yes, I did a winged, um, winged liner tutorial. Tips. Deb, you saw it. You saw the, t you saw the video. You're just going to have to, yes, you're just going to have to watch it again. I would love it. Canada, yes, I'm there too. Absolutely there too. Are you kidding me? Yes. I'll be, I'm going to be a traveling maniac, y'all. I sure am. I'm going to be like, honey, I got to go. I got to catch the next flight to Canada. I got to catch the next flight to England. I just got to leave. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm going to be a traveling fool. And it's not even funny. Yeah, it is hard to read the comments. Um, <clears throat> what you can do, Tina, real quick before I end my live. Th first, thank you everybody for staying on and watching. Um, what I like to do is go back. 
Uh, and, you know, I, I like to go back and check the comments because I do miss some. Uh, if you can't read the comments, then the best thing to do is ask your audience for interaction. Just simply ask them to comment with something so that you know they're still there. Um, and they can interact together. And that's what makes us all together in the room. It's almost like you're in my office with me. And um, we're doing this together. You know, it's like you're over for a girl's day. And <clears throat> we're playing with makeup. And you're not even really here, but you are here. Because I know you're watching. I know you're looking at me right now as I look through my screen, looking at the camera hole there. I know that you're looking at me right now on your device. So, <clears throat> that's why lives are so incredibly amazing, wonderful. You're connecting with people that are just not in your hometown, but from all over the world. How incredible is that? That just blows my mind. Every time I go live, I think about that, and it literally blows my mind that I can talk to people right now through a screen that are thousands of miles away from where I am right now. And it's just, it's amazing. It really is amazing to be able to connect with you. So, thank you all for hopping on. If you found this helpful, if you enjoyed the tips that I shared today, please share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it too. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please message me. I'm a message away. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you, Replay Watchers. And have a pucker up beautiful night. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for loving. Good night, ladies. Have a good one.